So this is the Reliance Slim 300 in-wall humidor. The unique characteristic of this is that it allows the customer to fit an in-wall humidor in between two standard wall studs that are 16 inch on center. Uh, that leaves a usable space of 14 and a half inches between the, the two studs, which we're showing here. These are metal studs. Most studs probably for residential are, are wood. Um, and this is also the deeper version, which is the higher capacity. So we have a hole cut through the wall into an adjacent space. If you have a two by six wall, this is going into, uh, this will fit within the drywall cavity, uh, the stud cavity of a two by six wall. Um, so this was pre-measured. We cut the drywall out. As you can see, we had a wire here that we were able to tuck into the stud bay. Um, to allow room for the humidor to go in and we have an outlet on the other side of the wall that we will plug the humidor into for its power. The unit comes with a 10-foot power cord so it gives you the ability to reach an outlet uh, behind the wall that may be a little bit further away. Uh, there's always the option of hard wiring this if you want the wiring to be hidden inside the wall cavity which you would need to get an electrician to help you with. So now we'll go ahead and put the cabinet it into the, into the hole. Okay. So this entire installation took about one hour from start to finish, um, assuming that you plan that out in advance with your, where your hole's going, uh, your tools, uh, and your utilities. This particular unit is plugged into an outlet in the adjacent room. So the best feature about this product is that it fits between two existing stud bays, requiring no changes in framing as long as you've got your two by four framing or two by six framing 16 inches on center. Um, some of the other great features of this product are that it will hold uh, box cigars at, um, of a cabinet size and it's also designed for the shelves to have removable loose sight fronts so that if you've got loose cigars you can remove this to put them in or you can remove it entirely to have boxes take up the entirety of the shelf. The reservoir is removable and it's recommended that the reservoir be cleaned and that the wicking filter be changed twice a year.
This wraps up our in-wall humidor installation video. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, visit us, visit us online or give us a call, and we'll be happy to help you.